Okay, welcome everybody. Um, this is my install and setup video for Saudi ATR levels and Saudi pivot ribbon on Thinkorswim. Before we jump into the presentation, uh, I just want to let you know that this presentation is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. So any trades you might take with my indicators or my education are your trades and your trades alone. Let's jump right in. All right, so let me walk you through how to get um, the indicators installed for Thinkorswim. It's a pretty straightforward process. You're going to go to my website, SaudiLand.com. You're going to go to, the, these are the two links that you want. And of course, if you want the Ripster email clouds for Thinkorswim, uh, there's a link there for you as well. Uh, I'm just going to go over the levels and the, and the pivot ribbon, uh, but it's the same process. All right, so um, if you click on Get um, Saudi ATR Levels, you're going to click over here for Get for Thinkorswim. And then you want to make sure you have Thinkorswim open in background. And you're going to click on View and View and Thinkorswim. Um, that is going to open up um, a import window in uh, Thinkorswim. And you're going to go ahead and click Import. Uh, I'm going to click Cancel because I already have it. But um, yeah, you go ahead and click Import. Cool. That's done. Now we're going to go back to the website um, and do the same thing for the Pivot Ribbon. Same concept, get pivot ribbon, uh, get for think or swim. Again, you're going to see one of these uh, um, landing pages in think or swim. Click view in think or swim. That's going to open up the import window. You're going to click import. Uh, again, I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it. And uh, so at this point, uh, nothing has really changed. Um, you still have uh, your clean. Um, chart uh, but what you're going to do here is go over to studies click on studies edit studies and that's going to bring open this window and this is going to be the window i think you're going to get pretty familiar with if you add um, or want to you know play around with different indicators that are built into thinkorswim um, go ahead and click in here um, and then just type saudi and you shall see you should see um, Saudi ATR levels and Saudi pivot ribbon. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on Saudi ATR levels and then add selected. And you can also double click. So if you um, click on Saudi pivot ribbon and then double click it, it will also add it. And um, I like to keep the pivot ribbon on top. I, I don't know if that makes a difference, but that's, uh, that's how I have mine set up just in case you want it exact. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and click OK. And then boom, you've got the, uh, the exact... Um, um, indicators installed that I use um, and of course you can add other indicators same process um, you know just go to edit studies and you can you can add stuff from there um, and of course if you want to be able to switch time frames and switch settings and in indicators uh, I made a whole video for that so please go check that out um, that's really it um, one other thing people have been asking like why why do my colors pop and you know why does it look so nice uh, thank you, by the way. <laughs> That's very kind. Um, so I, I, I have to stare at these charts every day and, and I, um, want it to look good. So you know, I spent a lot of time thinking about this. Um, but it's pretty easy. Um, just go to setup application settings, click on look and feel and, uh, defaults can be on dark. Some people are using light. I, I use old school toss. And once I do that, it sort of, uh, you know, it looks nice. Um, so a lot of people have asked about this one. They, they've asked like, why is everything looks so compressed? Um, well, it's a, it's a, there's a simple solution for this. Uh, basically it's trying to fit all the studies into the screen, um, which is on by default. If you go over here and click on this, auto should be selected, but if you uncheck fit studies, um, it'll look super nice. So I, I believe in the previous screen, I had that already on. I just wanted to show you that that's what I have. Um, to make it look nice and zoomed in. Cool. So one other thing I also do is if you go into style settings, there's a couple things I've set on. Um, I have, uh, if you go over to um, time axis, I like to keep time zoom, um, especially when I'm saving it uh, as a style. 
uh, that'll actually keep the, the zoom factor that you have specifically for that uh, chart. Uh, and then the other thing I like to do is if you go to the equities tab, just show volume subgraph. That takes the volume graph off the main graph and puts it into a subgraph, which I prefer. Um, but that's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, and that's really it. Um, that's kind of how I have mine set up. Of course, you can add additional indicators, um, but uh, that's that's the basic setup. Um, cool. I hope you're able to install it. Uh, and if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks so much.